Google Keep is awesome for creating notes, collecting ideas, and creating to-do lists, but it can look pretty plain and boring. So in this video, what I wanna show you how to do is to create custom Google Keep headers to make it look a little bit prettier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in either Google Slides or Google Drawings, and we're gonna create something like this. So maybe what I'm gonna do is go to a new window and I'm gonna type in slides.new because I really like that keyboard shortcut. It's not really a keyboard shortcut per se. It's actually just a URL that Google uses, but I really, really like it. Now I'm just gonna leave it on the plain sort of theme here and I'm gonna get rid of my title and my subtitle slide. And then what I'm gonna do is I wanna change the slide dimension. So I'm gonna come up to File. I'm gonna go to Page Setup. And then I'm gonna select the widescreen 16 by nine, come down to Custom. And then I like to use a six by three inch template. Really, you can use any size for Google Keep. It doesn't really matter. It's just gonna display slightly differently depending on the dimensions that you choose. But this one works fairly decently. I'm just gonna hit apply. And then now that's changed my page layout. So it's a little bit shorter and a little bit fatter than the typical kind of layout that you have for Google Slides. Now, if you're gonna use Google Drawings, you could do the exact same process. It works pretty much the same in Google Drawings itself. From here, what I wanna do is I wanna start adding in my text. So there's a couple of options. I do like to go to Insert and then Word Art. And then here, we're just gonna type in our main title. So I'm gonna write in To Do, hit Enter. And that's going to put my to-do lettering there. I'm just gonna move it up and kind of center it in my page there. Now, I don't know about you, but Arial is not my favorite font. So I'm gonna come up to the font choices here. And I really like Poppins. And if you hover over Poppins, you actually get a whole bunch of different options here. So my suggestion is maybe try Extra Bold or the Black. So if we do the Black, just gives us a nice big kind of chunky lettering. Now from here, you can change the fill color by using the fill color tool and putting it to whatever color you want. You can also change the line color as well and you could go here. Now to get the kind of effect that I have on my Google Keep header here with the offset sort of lettering and the color there, is I'm gonna come here and I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm gonna use Command D or Control D if you're on a PC to duplicate that. And then I'm gonna take the one in the back and I am gonna change the fill color. Now I wanna come and match the pink that I have on my Google Keep note. So a really nice Chrome extension that I use is this color picker here. And if I click on it and then I just drag and hover over the top of that color, it gives me what's called the hex code. And so it's the code that codes specifically for this color. I'm just gonna copy that, close that, and then go back to my presentation. And I'm gonna come into my fill color, down to custom, and then I'm gonna paste that hex code in there and hit enter or come down and hit okay and that's made that back one pink. So I'm gonna just get rid of the border color on the back one there, make it transparent, and then I'm just gonna layer these two. Now, if you wanna kinda get the effect that I have where it sees through, so you could leave it like this if you want to, but if you want that see-through sort of a effect, come up to your fill color for the front object and make it transparent. So. Uh, it kind of depends on what you want to do. The other way that you could add text is just by using a regular old text box. So I'm going to create a nice big one down here and I'm going to type in the words this week. And again, kind of preference. I like to keep these all non-capitalized. I don't know. It just, it looks kind of nice in the cursive font that I like to choose, but you can play around with this and 
really depends on what you want to do. I've centered the text in that box using the align tool. And then the font I like to use here is called Sacramento. And so I need to first highlight this, choose Sacramento. And then you want to bump this up to probably around like an 80 point font. And then once we've got this, we can just bring this up and you know, put it wherever sort of we want to in terms of the layout. So I think this looks pretty good. Now um, to get the sort of stripe kind of shape, you can come up to the shape tool and you could use a regular rectangle. You could use a rounded one. Maybe I'll do this with a regular rectangle. And I'm just going to draw it across the bottom of my slide. It doesn't really matter if I go over the edges of the slide because when we download the image file, it's going to come down no problem. And I'm going to fill that with the pink again. I'm going to get rid of the border color, so border color, and then make it transparent. And then you want to push this behind the text. So I'm just going to right click, come to order, and send it backwards. Now I'm pretty happy with that. You can add images in here too. So you could do something like your Bitmoji and you could drop a Bitmoji in there. It's really just a matter of grabbing it and dragging it in. You could also use an add-on like insert icons for slides. And this one's kind of neat because you can pull a whole bunch of different icons here. You can also customize the color. So again, if you want to match that pink, you can do that here. I kind of like going to black and then you could search for something in here. So maybe you just want a check mark. So you could search for a check mark and then grab one of these, click on it, it'll add it, and then you can just resize it and drop it wherever you want. Um, but I think I'm going to leave this one just pretty plain because that looks nice to me. I'm then going to come over to file go to download and download that as a PNG image. Now, once that's downloaded, it's right there. It's actually pretty handy for us because if we come back over to Google Keep, there's a couple ways you can add these to Google Keep now. You can drag and drop it into a new note. And so that's gonna create your nice header there for you. And then I can match my notes to the same pink color. Okay, so it's there. Or if I have an existing note or even the new note, I can come to this add image icon. I can scroll through and navigate through and find that file and then click on open and it'll open it up for me. So it's just a really nice way to add a little bit more visual appeal to your Google Keep and I don't know, make you feel maybe a little bit better about getting yourself organized. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, I would love it if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.